Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Whiskey Wednesday, Whiskey Wednesday. Oh my gosh, let's hope that this start a prayer chain that this video actually works. Um, last two weeks of Whiskey Wednesday, tried to upload the videos or yeah, edit them and upload them and the audio files were corrupted for some reason and I had no audio on both of them. So two weeks worth of videos wasted. Thankfully, I don't even remember <laughs> what bottles they were, but I still have both of those left. So we can do them again at some point, but hopefully this works because we have ourselves a sample and I am so freaking pumped for this. Uh, this is Weller Antique 107. This is a unicorn pour for me. Uh, Antique 107 is a Buffalo Trace product from Weller, 107 proof. So that's what math is hard, 53.5% alcohol. Is that right? Um, I think aged between six and eight years. I'm a big fan of Weller Special Reserve. Where I'm at in North County, San Diego, Weller is not available. It's not a thing at MSRP anyways. Um, Special Reserve bottles, <coughs> if you can find them at uh, local liquor stores, they are usually around $80, not having it. Um, and the cheapest I've ever seen a 107 bottle was $150. So um, I just, I would love, love, love. I've never even had this yet. Um, and I just, I know I want a bottle of it. I just, it's impossible to get. So um, thankfully I have friends who are amazing and want to share whiskey. So uh, big thanks to my man, Ricky, for this one. Ricky is my boy for show. We've been, I've known Ricky for ever. Grew up together, played Little League Baseball together. He was uh, my college roommate. Um, and he is a big whiskey person and he just so happens to have a couple bottles of this. I don't know where he got them from, but um, he'd sent me a text the other day. <laughs> There's a video of him opening his 107 bottle and pouring it right into his mouth. And he was like, I needed a reason. I'm gonna keep some of this in here in case for some reason this stupid video doesn't work. He was like, I needed a reason to open this anyway. So gave me some samples. This is one of them. Um, he gave me a sample of <coughs> Weller 12 year, which I'm excited about. And he also gave me a sample of Weller full proof, which I'm very excited about. And he also gave me a sample of, uh, barrel strength old forester, I think is what it was, but this is the one I'm most excited about. Um, this is a pour I've been chasing. Um, I've been looking for like bars around that have it. No one has this near me. So I'm excited. So see what this thing smells like. Whew, it smells like boozy apple skins. Apples and pears, red fruit. Gosh, it smells good. There's like brown sugar. It smells so much better than Weller Special Reserve. <laughs> I like Weller Special Reserve. I'm a Special Reserve fan. Um, I know a lot of people kind of hate on that whiskey for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm coughing. <coughs> but uh, I don't, yeah, a lot of people hate on that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's an availability thing. If it's an allocation thing, I don't know. Maybe they just think it's overrated because a lot of spots like charge so much over MSRP for it. But yeah, this is apples, pears, brown sugar, red fruit, a little bit of oak, a little bit of vanilla. <sighs> Maybe some cinnamon. It smells great. It almost has like a baking spice thing. It almost reminds me, I don't even like apple pie, but it almost reminds me like when you bake apple pie with a little bit of like, it's woody. I am so mad that I can't get this. I know I'm gonna love this. <laughs> Ricky, cheers. Thanks, bro. It's delicious. Oh, it's delicious. It is so good. There is like a bunch of caramel that I did not smell that I'm tasting, but all of like the apple skin and the pear, that fruitiness, tons of vanilla and a good amount of like charred oak. This is pretty dry too. Gosh, this is delicious. It's oily. <clears throat> um, 107 proof. It doesn't drink hot to me. I mean, it feels, it's a little warm, like on the middle of your tongue. I, I, I think I like the way it smells more and tastes. Gosh, it smells great. It's just such a big jump, I think, flavor-wise, between 
this and special reserve and the only reason i keep mentioning special reserve is because i have a bottle of that and i've had a bunch of pours of it like i'm pretty familiar with it um, i like it but man if i could get my hands on a bottle of this or 10 i would be so stoked it's just it doesn't exist around me so um, i don't know if i just <laughs> i don't want to spend 150 dollars. the thought of that is just asinine to me but maybe i just start like socking money away and just say fuck it one day and just buy one to have it and just like be super frugal with it it'd be so dumb i think msrp on these is like 50 bucks like there's no reason to pay three times that for this but i just it's not available so it is what it is this is great i love it i knew i would i kind of just had my mind made up i think that i was going to love this i just heard so many good things about it it's fantastic I just really love like it feels oily even though it's i mean it's like the stag that we had was super like thick and viscous but that's 136 proof this is you know dialed way down at 107 but i still feel like it's like a full just like mouth coating you know pour whiskey i love how dry it is i love the fruit the apples the pears i love the brown sugar the oakiness all of it so um it's good good stuff those of you who this is available to you guys are blessed I mean, if it was around where I was and where I'm at, I would hoard it. I would have multiples of this. So, um, Ricky, I appreciate you sharing it. Love you, bro. Thanks so much. Another Whiskey Wednesday in the books. You guys fans of this one? I hope so. If not, it behooves you to seek it out if it's available. Apparently, Northeastern Ohio is the, the spot for this. So, I need to go visit there at some point and just buy a bunch. So, I'm out of here. See you guys soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.